Thank you, Mr. Mr. Kushak. What? Why the speed in Slovenia for taking actions uh, was, you know, why we were so slow? And who are the, in my, in your opinion, <coughs> people or institutions, government, regulator, somebody else, mainly responsible for this uh, delay? Okay, uh, I wouldn't speak of of people and institutions, but. Uh, my impression was, uh, at least we, if we speak of, of banks and banking sector, my impression was that at the beginning of the crisis uh, there was the impression that uh, it is something temporary, that it couldn't last very long, maybe just a couple of months and, or maybe at most one year or so. Um, and this was some sort of misperception at the very beginning, uh, which was prolonged from from one month to to another, yeah. and so on and so on. And uh, I I would say that 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 was one of the reasons why uh, it, it took so long to to really become aware of the uh, of the of the full dimension of the of the crisis. But maybe, as Mr. Meda said, we didn't want to see the truth. Huh? Um, yeah, it's something, <laughs> something like this. Mr. Kruzic, will the act uh, on measures to strengthen the stability of the banks, which was now reconfirmed in the Parliament on Tuesday after the veto in National, in national Council, uh, of course, if there is not going to be a referendum, uh, enable the banks, which are now operating in a crunch due to the extent of bad debts, to start again to credit the businesses in a greater extent? Well, we, we definitely think so. Um, we think that this will uh, push the focus from you know, taking care of uh, bad loans and how to resolve them into new lending. Uh, when we talk to managements of uh, all large banks, they are saying that their predominant preoccupation at the moment is bad loans. It is not new lending. Although they are saying we are not lending because there is no demand. But you know, it's a tricky issue, this demand thing, because why is there no demand? <laughs> you know, maybe the conditions for loans are also such that there is no demand Changed. at these conditions, mm -hmm. right? So uh, this is a key thing. The other thing is, of course, that it will, it will stabilize several asset markets that are at the moment illiquid, right? So for example, uh, at the moment we have uh, illiquidity in the housing market, we have illiquidity in the commercial real estate market. And the banks ha are reluctant to liquidate the collateral they have because uh, they will suffer losses. While preparing the law on these measures, how much you incorporate it or how much you use the experience from 20 years ago when we had this agency for the, uh, saving the banks? Uh, it, was that useful for you? Or to you? Yes, we have. Uh, <coughs> so we had this group of uh, all parliamentary uh, parties uh, in the summer, and we had uh, several meetings. I think five or six. So in these meetings, we had also uh, people there that were present at that agency and were saying that uh, why, why not, why to do it differently, why to reinvent hot water, if we had this already back then. Of course, the environment is a bit different now. We have also a European Commission there. The Commission has a tough rules of uh, how one can implement uh, several measures. Uh, what is the valuation? Or what is the transfer price? Uh, what is the state aid compensation? Uh, what is the clawback? All these things that have to be then uh, imposed onto a bank that receives state aid that was not present back then. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is a different environment, but of course uh, the agency can be seen as something similar that we are doing now. So it was an outside of bank thing. And it was also taking bad debts, and basically the state was recapitalizing then the banks, because uh, we have one problem. Uh, we have one big difference, though, that at that time both large banks were insolvent, and now both large banks are solvent. So that's why we are not calling this uh, sanatia or yeah, I don't restructuring. <laughs> you don't have a word of restructuring in the law, but we call it a. Uh, Asset management company. Okay, you know? Mr. Batten, uh, what other recent EU member countries' uh, bank rehabilitation experience we can use at this stage of, you know, where we where we are now in Slovenia for the Slovenian bank uh, rehabilitation? Well, I think there's a. Um, I mean, if you look across Europe, 
uh, in the UK, Ireland, Germany, in particular, uh, Scandinavia, uh, Spain at the moment, Portugal, all of, the, all of those countries at the moment, uh, Switzerland, have all set up different forms of bad banks mm -hmm. um, and different methods of resolving the issues that they have. They've passed laws uh, to sort of facilitate that, uh, to some extent facilitated by or urged on by the IMF and the Commission to do so. So there's a lot of learning out there now which can be imported into Slovenia. Uh, lots of ideas, you know, I guess Ireland was probably one of the first in, the, in this wave to have been through that, so there's a lot of learnings to come out of Ireland about, you know, you know in terms of, of setting up NAMA, I mean, the, the principles behind it were good ones, you know, the, the practice of it, some of it's worked very well, some of it, you know, there's a, and there's a stream of things that I've learnt, and if you, if you ask the chief executive of NAMA, he would give you several things that he'd say, well, you'd probably do them a bit differently uh, in terms of, would they do that again? Yes, they would do it again, but uh, there, were, there would be things that uh, they might do differently. So I think there's a, there's a lot of things that can be learnt about it. But you know, some of the key things about uh, having an asset management company, you, know, you need the right governance, uh, you know, not too much political interference, mm -hmm. you know, ability to get on uh, and do the job, uh, have a, a clear time frame, clear performance milestones, proper accountability. I think you know, one of the things that works well in NAMA is you know, that the chief executive has to, put, has to appear before the uh, Public Accounts Committee every quarter uh, to explain uh, what he's actually achieved during the previous uh, sort of three months or whatever it is. You know, there's a, a real pressure to actually deliver on what, uh, what the prospectus is. They set out a seven to eight year time frame to resolve all of the, all of the lending, which is a tough, a tough program. But there is that you know, definite accountability. They've used none of the staff who, were, uh, who came from, who were mm -hmm. responsible for originating these loans, who were, who were deemed to be too close to the, to the borrowers in the first place. So that, you know, it's been one of their big challenges is actually finding independent, good quality staff to put into these management companies. This is an, uh, another issue I wanted to raise with you. What kind of skills, uh, what kind of competence it, uh, people would need at Bad bank. Well, I think you need, well, you need a blend, <coughs> in my view, of um, you, you, you must have some of the past, past history, you know, to, to just pass all of these loan files to another, uh, another individual who has no experience or knowledge of the background. Uh, that, that's uh, not a good idea. But, but so you do need a blend of that, but you need people who weren't involved in the origination of these loans, who are not close to the debtors, uh, who have a good understanding of workout uh, and of the asset classes that are, that are involved, you know, in, uh, uh, you know, suitably incentivized and aligned to the overall objectives of the, of the runoff. Uh, so, and, and finding those people is not always easy. You need a blend of um, people who, who you know, younger people with, who are motivated and entrepreneurial. I mean, an asset management company set up like this is a bit like a startup, you know, so mm -hmm. you need people with the right sort of uh, mentality from that point of view, but you also need some wise heads who've been there before, they've been through a crisis before, they understand how to work out these assets, uh, and they, they know how to deal with the debtors, and they're all different, and you'll have different asset classes here. So being able to deal with all of those, you know, you need that sort of mix of skills. Mr. Kruschet. Where are you going to find that kind of people with skills, competencies? How you will assure that politics will not influence too much? Are you willing to invite foreigners to manage the, the bad bank? Or do you believe we have enough skills and competencies in Slovenia? Yes, so as you know that the, 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 the AMC that we will uh, set up will have uh, one tier board uh, they will have non-executives and executives in the board so for the non-executives we would like to have uh, and also for executives uh, as many as uh, possible also uh, with uh, people with foreign experience there were people that uh, that uh, did bad banks in abroad uh, and this is we think a firewall uh, preventing that political influence would be high in this uh, in such a structure uh, so we are already in talks uh, with uh, several uh, international experts as you know also we have uh, uh, we are in talks also for some technical assistance from the IMF uh, 
uh, also uh, informally from from the ECB. Um, we think that this is very good to to have also knowledge uh, on this side of uh, because IMF has experts that did bank banks uh, elsewhere. And uh, as regards the stuff, uh, there are there are several several options that were also used in other countries. Uh, as Mark can can also say more. For example, in Ireland. One thing is that uh, when you will have uh, part of the portfolio brought away from the banks, you will not need as much staff in the banks as you have now. Mm -hmm. So of course, and also the banks will need to undergo a restructuring program as we have in the law. And in this restructuring program, the banks will need to shrink, optimize. Anyway, cost to income ratios in Slovenia are very high in banks, internationally compared. Mm -hmm. So there will be several people that will be laid off probably. And they will have an option then to go, uh, you know, instead of uh, seeking employment, to go to the bad bank to deal with this loan. So this is one option, and it was used in other countries also. Yeah, but Mr. Burton mentioned that it should not be the same people that were involved with. <laughs> and this is true, and the other expertise is then asset managers. Uh, it's a different type of expertise. We, we are thinking yet of uh, where for sure there are experienced people also in this area in Slovenia. So this Probably the, the people will be the key for the success of Bad Bank.